All right, guys, welcome back to another video here on the John Doc YouTube channel. We are actually going to try to get some work today uh, done on the Colorado build we got going on. Uh, for those of you guys that aren't up to date on this build, uh, we started it like a month before we were supposed to have Cletus and cars. Like I had the motor in the in the truck, uh, and that was pretty much it. I really didn't have an idea or a route that I wanted to go with the build. And then I was like, yo, this will be like the perfect Cletus and Cars burnout truck. Uh, and of course, I mean, it couldn't just be NA because that's boring. So I uh, went ahead and got a crank driven F1X blower for it uh, from down in South Carolina. So I picked that up, uh, put this motor together, and it was kind of like a little fun deal where uh, I'm trying to make a thousand horsepower for under a thousand dollars. So um, I took all the parts and shit I had laying around here, used lifters, uh, camshaft that was dinged up and grounded down. Had some used head gaskets that I put back on there, uh, a used set of ARP studs, and just started throwing stuff in there. Used oil pump, uh, and put this motor together. I uh, went to the junkyard and grabbed the six liter out of like an LKQ. Uh, very controversial video if you guys haven't seen it. And um, I, we were in like 300 bucks on the motor. I figured uh, with everything else that I got, I was in like another three or 400 bucks. Um, so we were budget wise, we were in budget. Uh, and then we strapped this blower on the front of it, which some people said was cheating, but I said just the motor itself so obviously to make a thousand horsepower on ls you're not going to do it na so you need to have some sort of power adder so we didn't factor in the power adder um so it is uh right now it's just stock bottom end six liter it's got some like i think it's like a blower or an na cam that was dinged up pretty good um it's got uh rock arms with a trunnion upgrade in them a 7400 push rods uh stock ls7 style lifters uh everything in there is really used uh for those of you guys that are doing the swap on the colorado's uh, it's got an H3 oil pan, and then uh, we use like current performance. They did the um, the motor mounts for it, so it is on motor mounts. Even though it's got like a fake motor plate for the blower to attach to, uh, that's kind of how we got it set up. The blower bracket itself, it's a new era blower bracket, and it's got uh, an alternator bracket. So we're gonna run a 16 volt alternator on a 16 volt system. Uh, right now, it's got a Holly HP and a Holly 7 inch dash. Um, we're gonna, once we get everything done, we'll get it wired up. Fuel system wise, we're gonna run on alcohol. Bosch 10 injectors. I got uh, an NOS plate that we're going to do additional fueling with, and uh, it's got a 750 Magna fuel and a 650 Magna fuel that are wide together, and um, or it might be like a 625. I'm not really sure, but it should provide. I'm hoping enough fuel pump to feed both the injectors and the um, plate system. If it fails, like I'll either get like another pump and have like three of them in there, or I'll get a bigger one, bigger pump. Eventually when i put like a big motor in there we're gonna have to go to a mechanical fuel pump and we know that but we'll use those pumps in the back to act as like a surge tank for that it's got a uh, aftermarket case power glide 180 gear set it's got a, a bruzy racing transmissions torque converter nine and a half inch torque converter in there uh it's got a fleet pride steel drive shaft and it's on a stock rear end with a three inch uh, drop shackle i think it is or like flip kit i'm not really sure it might be a flip kit might be drop shackles i'm not sure but it lowered it in the rear uh, up front i got some bell tech ball joint drops and uh, converted everything to five lug via the Crown Vic spindle and everything. So the brakes, calipers, rotors, spindle are Crown Vic stuff. So uh, that's how we did the five lug conversion. So overall, <clears throat> the trucks uh, come a long way. I run factory factory dash unit in there. It is out of the Holly seven inch dash, uh, but the factory dash and factory seats are going back in it for now. Uh, we're just gonna drive around in alcohol. Uh, we're gonna do burnouts with it uh, and just have some fun with it before uh, we do a ladder bar set up to it and really turn it into like a small block boost style like shootout. This truck right here is not going to make as much power as our other cars. Uh, so I think like some of the smaller tracks, Fayetteville, Red Spring, 710, uh, where you're limited on how fast you can go, this truck can really shine. Um, we're going to put some mentors in the rear eventually and just get it to work well. Uh, but everyone knows the biggest holdup, and I got flamed for this, the biggest holdup uh, of all time is the zoomies. So. I had an idea. I've always wanted a blower with zoomies. So I was looking for this, like, I tried to talk to the blower shop and I'm like, doing like a big blower for it. Um, Cause I thought it would just be absolutely badass. I still think it would be badass, but uh, the blower shop wasn't into it. So I said, forget it. I had a pro charger on a gear drive on the Hemi. I kind of liked that. So I went and I found one off my buddy in South Carolina. So we got the pro charger stuff on there. And when you put a blower on something, it's just like the exhaust is just like 10 times more violent. Uh, and zoomies are the way to go for that. So. Obviously, you didn't have bolt-on zoomies or anything for like an LS Swap Colorado, so you had to make your own. I didn't think about trying to find like a set of long tube headers for LS Swap Colorado and cutting the collector off and making zoomies from there. So I was like, all right, we'll just do it. I'll do it myself. So, I mean, I thought, honestly, I really thought a week's worth of work and I'd have it done. 
and I like bust my ass on these for like like three weeks straight like any downtime I had I was working on these and I got them about all the way done so I got the driver side all the way done I got the passenger side they're all under the vehicle but I'm struggling to get them to come out the way I want to and I really I just lost interest in it and I didn't uh, work on it that much so then I also hit this other road bump of how I'm going to read an O2 on the zoomies so i'll put a picture up on the screen here uh when we were down in darlington obviously a lot of the pro charger cars have zoomies on them uh so like uh kevin rivenbark's car jason harris's car uh, we saw this um ctsv down there that was they had the front end off and you could see how they were doing the pickup you have to get a collection of exhaust gases from every single primary on that bank uh so it can, you can't just have an o2 and one because it's going to give you a false reading so they are tapping into all four and then they are uh, they have the O2 bung there, and then they're tapping back into it. So it's kind of, it's pulling like a vacuum effect of exhaust gases from each uh, cylinder and then running it across and down. So that's what we're going to do. So I went up today. As you can see by my long stick of pipe, uh, I got some uh, two-inch pipe that we're going to actually use for the cooling system because it's got a radiator in the bed, and I got an electric water pump. So instead of running Dash 16 lines under the truck, I'm going to actually run this uh, two-inch uh, stainless steel stuff. Um, so I'll just put fittings on either side of them, uh, and then we'll be fixed. They'll be welded to the frame. Uh, and then I got this one-inch stuff right here, which, as you can see, they got a little bag on it. Cause, uh, the stuff I get super nice. It's polished in and out, um, but the one-inch is not. So the one-inch is just stainless. Um, but this is what we're going to use for you know that effect of, of running across each primary and going down and pulling vacuum. So uh, my goal between, I'd say today and today's Friday, so I don't know if I'm gonna work this weekend or not, it really depends on what I got going on, it's Memorial Day weekend. For those of you guys, when you guys see those videos like Tuesday, um, the end of this video will have the winner of the turbo giveaway, so don't go anywhere. I don't know, I think really, I think two solid days I can get this done and then I can get most of this done for the O2s and um, get started on running the lines we need for the uh, cooling system. So I have the Motion Raceworks uh, coolant ports for the uh, block, and then I have a uh, mechan uh, electric pump in the bed. So I got all the fittings for it. I just gotta get lined and then we're good to go. So that's my plan here, and uh, I guess we'll take a look at it and see where we're at. All right, so now that you guys are back introduced to the build, here are the crazy, um, the zoomies we got. This side is not nearly as pretty as the other side. The other side, I knew where the straight pipe was. This side, I forgot I had straights and it just got a little drunk in some spots. The issue is I couldn't get like, I didn't get this angle perfect how I wanted to, so I didn't get that angle perfect and then that angle, so it's just like zigzags. So for those of you guys that are talking smack, honestly, just talk your smack, What it's whatever. All I'm trying to do, if I can get them to come out decent, I'll be happy. This side, they come out pretty good, pretty close to each other. Uh, one thing that I do have to note is, um, unlike a 8.2 deck or a 9.5 deck, small block forward, where each runner, or sorry, I should say each primary, has uh, two bolts. This one, obviously, like the LS stuff, there's three for the first two and three for the back two. So you can't cut them directly in half. You need to at least have the first two and the last two together. That works great on this side because uh, the steering shaft is kind of in the way but i made the zoomies go around it so when i have to take these off you'll take the like the bottom two off and the top two off and the steering shaft will stay this side here there's no steering shaft so i'm honestly i'm just going to weld them all the way out and uh down here when i brace them i'm going to brace all four of them together so i should be able to get all of them out if you have to take the wheel off to get it out i mean so be it but that's better than anything you i am going to have to heim them and support them to the chassis and i'm going to have to weld them to themselves so they don't go anywhere the biggest thing with the crazy exhaust pressure that these blowers make is you don't want these flying off anywhere. So they have to be tethered to the car. Um, on our Hemi deal, when it had the Pro Charger on there, when you'd rev it and you didn't have the tethers on the chassis, like, it has this metal. You literally see them drop like half an inch just because they were kind of like bullhorns pointed up. I mean, you'd hit it and go, and go flying down. So um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try to get started and just eyeball. It's, it's very tough because the angles are all different here, but I need to get this one to come out here whether that means I cut it back here or whatnot, um, so be it. And uh, I think, honestly, I really do think I need to cut here and uh, try again. So we'll get started on that right now and we'll see how we do.
We got Westbo back in the video. Thanks for the nugget. I appreciate mm -hmm. you, Bo. Welding up here. Got this one welded up. Not, not definitely not the prettiest welds, but it's all welded up. And if you compare it to this one, it's pretty weld. I'm, I don't know what's up with this one, but I just can't, I can't get them to form together. It just balls up on one side. So let it cool down for a second, get it welded out, and then I'm gonna go back and attack it put it back on and that will get rid of any movement that we got going on then I can cut and get them going close to each other man this nuggets on point dude for real all right got both insides welded up now that everything's nice and sturdy I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off right here and as you can see it's like kick back at this crazy angle I'm gonna try to take that out and like turn it more so it's gonna go like it's cl much closer to this so it can come out at that same angle. That's the goal here. But as you guys know, this stuff gets pretty uh, pretty difficult. All right, so we got the, as much stuff as I can welded up. I think we're good there. We're all welded up. It's, uh, it's not too hot. I could probably put it on the car. Uh, cut this off. As you see, trying to get rid of this like gnarly crazy angle here. I think I did a pretty good job cutting through that. Um, I'm gonna slap it back on the truck and then this comes the tough part of just like, placing something to come out like I need to come out more like that like that yeah it's gonna suck it's, it's really gonna suck this one's gonna really really suck but it needs to come out kind of like that and then get that 45 put on it Whew, this side is terrible I did a terrible job leading up to this Maybe a little premature to put this on. That thing was hot as hell, and I had to get Wes over to help me get it on. So as you can see, here's the issue with the angles. I had them pointed way too far back. I need to get them over here. So, um, I mean, just for reference, I mean, honestly, that's not even bad. Right there, just turning it around and knocking that like crazy goofy angle it had off of it. And welding that on it's just so hard to like get one angle take it off weld it and get the next angle because before this thing was like cranked out like had this crazy angle on it right here like tipping it back and it was pointing way down that was my issue so this one if I can go boom right out this way more I think I could be all right so let me just get a fresh 90 and we'll give that a shot. We'll line it up. Here are all my, I got my 445s right here for the zoomy tips. I got four more sick. I got a bunch. I got a bunch of shit. Let's see here. Here's an, oh, that's a molested one. I need to find an unmolested. There's an, oh, that one's kind of molested, but it's going under the car. So we'll be all right with it. I mean, Honestly, I think that's about as good as we're going to get right there. Let me get some lines on it and try to eyeball up a few other pieces and we'll make it happen. All right, so I think I got what will get me close to the tip of the zoomy, so I'm going to tack this up and see if it fits. All right, I got the piece I need here. There's one little gap that's kind of worrying me, but I think we'll be all right. And um, I mean, I'm just going to weld this out before I put it on. I gotta clean up the tip a little bit. This was obviously used for something else, so. Let me get it welded out and cleaned up. I'll show you guys how it looks before I weld it on and then we'll get it welded on there. Friday night got some stuff tacked up here I got uh, I don't know if this is going to be a, a catastrophic error or what but as you can see 
my zoomie is sloping downwards. Um, I don't really know what to say. I can't go up any higher. Frame is there. Um, I think that one might just live like that. And then if I can get the other two just to like stay at this angle, so it'll just be like a little drop and then hold, I think I could be all right. If we look at the other side, they're they're less droopy, but they fall inwards. Oh, they still kind of go down, but the other one is, is quite a bit down. So slightly concerned with that. Um, I mean, I don't know what uh, what more to say there, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm trying my hardest, right? I'm literally trying my hardest at this, and it is kicking my tail. Um, I had to get them to come out the same angle, kind of. Still sloping back, still haven't figured that out yet. I'm on like my seventh and eighth zoomy, and I'm still trying to figure it out. I got some pieces over here trying to make this other one come out and, and fit. And as you can see, it's getting quite extreme with 38 bends and pie cuts and... For the people out here building zoomies, like all the time, on cars, not on uh, pro mods, I feel you, dog. Stuff's wild. I bought a bunch of extra material. Probably didn't need it. Haven't even touched it yet. It's this whole box right here. Uh, but I did get some nice, like, two-inch stuff. Look at how nice this stuff is. Two-inch bends. There they are. Look at these little two-inch 45s for all my coolant stuff. I mean, that right there is pretty slick, so... Oh, brother. I'm going to keep on plugging away here. As you can see, we got all the the pie cuts here. Wes, do you want to explain to them what just happened? God. I think you're, you, you're sleep deprived or something. You literally tacked the wrong one the whole time. And then you thought it was tacked down, and I literally just lifted it up right off the top, so... I mean, it happens. It definitely happens, doesn't it? It happens. Now look at that gap right there. It's like Michael Strahan's teeth. Yeah, I know. There's. I'm terrible when it comes to filling in gaps, but we're just going to have to do our best. This is the third. This is my second to last one. And it's not going to get done tonight because I'm about to throw in the towel. After that, after that showing. How many hours do you have in this? Ben, honestly, what do you think an actual act? I mean, I got to have like 50 hours minimum. More, more than one day, less than one week. <laughs> Somewhere in there. What are the chances that when we fire it up, they come flying off? How, how many exhaust leaks is he going to have? What are the chances it whistles from all the stuff in the inside of it? It has eight different, like, eight tones of whistling. You wouldn't be able to hear a whistle bad one. <laughs> uh, are they going to hold up, though? Yeah. What's going to happen on our, on our first wheelie? <laughs> They're going to fall apart like Mr. Potato Man in Toy Story. If, honestly, if these things get crushed in a wheelie, I'll probably just go on eBay and find some LS swap headers. I'm sure Phil can lead you to those. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's going to wrap up. Oh, I can't wrap up today's video. The next clip will be picking a winner for the turbo giveaway. Is it you, yeah. is it you Ben? Maybe. Is it you? If it's not, it's rigged. made it all the way through this video I give you guys credit because I know like half the people just hate anything to do with me doing any sort of fabrication sitting here with Logan he's got a new look he went from 12 to 7 <laughs> and he is my witness we just did the drawing for the turbo giveaway uh, we did like a little week long uh, it was a 72 millimeter uh, billet wheel VS racing turbo polished by Joe at Dieter's custom finishing and then it was the back housing was coated by Jacobson uh, powder coating and welding. You can grab it. Yeah. I'm gonna grab so it. we just picked the winner. And uh, Logan, do you want to read the winner? 
Not unless you read it. Yeah, I think you should no, at least get a look at it. Okay, there it is. This is going to you. The winner is Marcus Johnson, Jackson, Tennessee. Congratulations, you won this. You got a uh, an LS Nasty Racing shirt. One of our new LS Nasty Racing shirts. They say LS Nasty Racing up here, and they say it on the back with established 2019. Even though I think we really got started on 2018, but hey, close enough. What's a year? Uh, so congratulations, Marcus. Uh, I'm gonna get this thing shipped out and sent to you. I'm gonna send you an email right now But if you guys are watching this Marcus if you are congratulations you won. Uh, I got a big giveaway coming up next How exciting is the new giveaway? I can't wait. You can't wait. I'm excited. I'm gonna buy everything. I can't wait I'm gonna start buying things. Hey, so I got like two new shirts coming out I got polos coming out that have the embroidered LS nasty on them. Uh, we got flags coming out on the website We got LS nasty stickers. I got a new brand 95 deck nasty coming out as well. So we're kicking it up. We're trying to get you guys what you want. If you guys did have an issue with like shipping on stickers, my website keeps turning everything over to flat rate, so I apologize. It shouldn't be... Someone tried to order like six stickers, and they said it was $30 in shipping, so I apologize about that. I'm trying to figure out new website blues, so we're getting that all worked out. But thank you guys so much. Uh, I have fun doing this giveaway. That's a badass piece right there. So, Marcus, when you get it, you're going to have to tag me on Instagram when you get it and open it up. And if you're going to put on anything or sell it, just let, just let me know because I like to see. I think the first two Turbo giveaways, they got sold once their, their new owners got them. So, uh, it's yours. You can do whatever you want with it. You want to put it on a truck, put it on a tractor. Uh, put it on Phil, put it on Logan, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, it's yours. So, thank you guys so much for watching. We got a busy week here at LS Nasty. Today is Tuesday when I'm filming this part of the clip. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Anything you want to say? I think they'll be looking forward to the next one. Yes, definitely. Polo shirts, Beyond Comfort. Yeah, you have you have a couple. I have two. Yeah, that's nice. You're going to have to wear them so I can like plug them in a video. I have to wear my uh, nice pants. Oh here. no, oh no. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, subscribe. Check out the new website. It's lsnasty.com. It's always the first link in the description below. So check out the new website. The old website's still up, but you shouldn't be ordering stuff on there. But if you do, you're still going to get your stuff. But try not to use it. Use the new one. The new one's way better. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload.